Hello gamers, and welcome into this video. Today we are going to be talking about coffee. I'm just kidding. We're going to be talking about swiftness versus spec glasses. Now, some of you may know this, some of you may not, but I recently swapped mains from my swiftness esoteric war dancer to my now spec deathblow striker. There's a whole bunch of reasons for this. And I'm going to talk about some of the differences, some of the pros and cons between swiftness classes and spec classes, what I like and don't like about both um, in a moment. So let's get into it. Mm. Oh, God, coffee is good. So you have swiftness versus spec, consistent damage, zoomy zoomies versus. Burst damage, slow and sluggish, but really fucking big numbers. Which one do you prefer? Because for me, I like both, but for different reasons and in different scenarios. However, I am leaning more towards the spec side. And this is why I've changed from the war dancer to the now Deathblow striker. Those big numbers are really fun. Waiting for the right moment, pick your burst, and then go for it. Feels amazing. But there are some situations, for example, with my Death Blow Striker, where it feels horrible. And that is when you don't have any kind of, like, yearning buff. So, Volton solo buses on Death Blow Striker suck. It's rubbish. You can do it for sure. But when you compare it to... My esoteric war dancer, really fast. Zoomy zoomies, they're really easy. It's it's so much faster. Uh, you're able to dodge a lot quicker, but you don't have the same kind of satisfaction as those big numbers that you get from an igniter sork or the death flow striker. However, when it comes to just pure damage potential, this is where spec classes in my opinion, win out over swiftness classes. Now, stay with me here. You have certain synergies and certain things that you can do in this game that really help out spec classes and don't really so much help out swiftness builds, right? Atrophins are one of them. If you guys don't know these, these purple delicious pots... They take away a bit of your HP, but they give you attack power 30% for 10 seconds. That's the important bit. And move and attack speed 20%, right? Move and attack speed on my War Dancer might as well not be on there. It's a bit of a waste. I don't really need it because I cap out on both of them. I use Wind's Whisper. I buff myself consistently and it doesn't really do anything. Yearning buff on... A swiftness class doesn't really do anything. You can counteract things like mass increase, right? There are situations where it's going to help, or if you've got really low stats, it's going to help. But when you get, once you get your stats up, then it's not really a big deal. Atrophins, 10 seconds. That is a short window that you can really get out burst, and it's extra 30% attack power. Now, if you're on a class like Igniter Sork, where the majority of your damage is in this very small window. An extra 30% on an Igniter rotation is absolutely massive. Whereas, on an Esoteric War Dancer, trying to get the same amount of damage in 10 seconds is just impossible. You're not going to be able to do it. You were Drofin, you go through a couple of cycles, maybe just one whole cycle, you can't do it. Adrophins help burst classes way more than they help swiftness classes. Take a look at this clip here. I'm on my Igniter Sork and I'm just about to do Atrophin rotation here. We got 104 million, 84 million, and 73 million. And this is a 1523 Igniter Sork. There's just no way that swiftness classes can compete with that to be able to push. Cycles. You see here, we've just gone into the next mech. So when you're trying to burst a boss from like phase to phase, Adrophins are 
huge. If that wasn't enough, on top of Adrophins, Yearning Buff, and Synergies, which all help spec classes get around their kind of slow and sluggish feel, you've also got Buff Food, which can also give you attack speed and move speed. And again, for Swiftness classes, it doesn't really do a lot. And all these things combined really get to me. Um, and as War Dancer, now X Main, I want to be able to maximize damage and be able to push phases, maybe even skip mechanics in like Clown Free and stuff like that. So this is why I took the decision to go for a spec class as a main. Now, spec classes can be, for a lot of people, harder to play. Swiftness classes, in my experience, are way more comfortable. The extra movement speed allows you to get to mechanics and out the way and dodge things way easier. Um, and especially when you're progging. So when you've just started learning a raid, maybe you just start learning Brel, you get to gate six and, you know, you can wipe and wipe and wipe and wipe when you're doing that. Playing a swiftness class, um, like I did, I learned it on my War Dancer and it felt really good. It felt, it felt really comfortable. I was able to dodge things quite well. You're not so animation locked, things like that. But once you learn a raid and... Once you outgear a raid, I definitely feel like spec is the way to go, being able to push those mechs. But swiftness is really nice for, for example, Bolt and Solo. That is a really good swiftness bus run because you're able to dodge if you're, for example, Shock Scrapper versus Taijutsu Scrapper, your back attacks, Taijutsu so much faster if if the boss is solely focusing you you're able to get around and hit those back attacks way easier than shock and i have a shock scrapper and i know what it's like to solo that when you're going entropy now once you know the patterns yes you can get behind you can get away with your um burst damage and things there but taijutsu you just zoomies around back attacks back attacks the boss spins you just go around like really quick so you get my point there that's when i think Swiftness classes are nice because they definitely feel, at least for me, more comfortable to play and more comfortable to learn, even learning the game if you're a new player, for example. But ultimately, way down the line, when you're investing so much time and effort into characters in Lost Ark, years of your life, like, for me, it just came down to spec and that burst, those big numbers, and being able to utilize the tools, the Adrofins, the um, Yearning buff, which is huge. Synergies, like on my Ignite Sork here, having a War Dancer in my party, or a Blade even, um, for that extra move speed and attack speed, just makes it feel like I'm a Swiftness class, even though I'm not. So I've got all the advantages of the burst damage from spec, with making up for all the shortfalls with all the items and the buffs and things in the game which don't help swiftness classes as much so yeah it's that's my opinion on it guys like i honestly feel like swiftness classes are a little bit shafted so let me know what you guys think down below that's kind of just what i wanted to talk about today remember to like sub Twitch link down below, Discord, get involved. It'd be really good to see you there. But that's what I want to talk about today. So, till the next one, guys. Peace out.